Hello friends, welcome to Physics by GSB. Today we discuss about electric field due to a uniformly charged infinite plane sheet. Okay? So let's start with it. So consider a thin infinite plane sheet having uniform charged uniform charge density sigma okay so can you draw the diagram is this is our uniformly charged plane sheet infinite plane sheet and consider q value of may having sigma surface charge density okay now we want to calculate electric field e at a point P having distance R from from the surface. Okay. So let me consider a point P where we have calculate Calculate the electric field. Okay. So by symmetry, electric field at point P having distance having distance R from the surface of the given plane sheet is R. R is the distance from the O. Okay. By symmetry, electric field is the same at point P and in the opposite direction of the plane sheet. That is P dash. Having equal distance from the O. R. The total distance between P and P dash is 2R. Okay? Let's go a simple setup. Say something. Let us consider this is our infinite plane sheet. Okay, having surface charge that's the sigma. Okay, now we create a Gaussian surface, Gaussian surface having length 2r and area of cross section is a. This is our cylindrical Gaussian surface. This point is P dash This is our cylindrical Gaussian surface passing through infinite plane sheet Okay, and this point is P. Okay, let us consider this marker is a cylindrical Gaussian surface. Okay, and this is our infinite plane sheet having sigma surface charge density plus sigma. Okay, so the electric field lines of force are passing through plane surface area A. There are two plane surface area of given cylinder. Number one is that, and number two is that. Okay, but electric field lines does not pass through that curved surface area of the given cylinder. That type of curved surface area. So, like that, okay? by symmetry, electric field e vector 
is equal in magnitude and opposite in direction at point P and P dash having equal distance from from plane surface okay that is a equal this that point will be p and that point will be p dash okay so the plane p point p dash and p dash p dash and p having equal distance from the plane surface now electric field lines electric field lines do not passing through curved surface area of cylinder okay which is gaussian surface okay Thus, electric flux, electric flux passing through curved surface area is zero. ये जो काउंट सरफेस एरिया है ये वाला काउंट सरफेस एरिया इसमें इलेक्ट्रिक फ्लक्स क्या जीरो पास हो रहा है ओके तो नेक्स्ट राइट करते हैं इलेक्ट्रिक फ्लक्स पासिंग थ्रू पासिंग थ्रू टू गिवन प्लेन सरफेस एरिया ऑफ ए गिवन सिलेंडर क्या होगा वो उसकी राइट करते हैं अभी हम ठीक है वन सेकंड इसको रेज करते हैं आई होप आपने राइट किया होगा ये now electric flux passing through to plane surfaces plane surface areas o cylinder is Given as, कैसे लिखा जाएगा उसको flux is electric flux क्या पास होगा इसमें से electric field into area through a area having at point P plus electric flux into area at the another side E into it total electric flux is given as E is equal phi is equal to two into E A. Okay, this is the electric flux passing through Gaussian surface. Okay, yes, cylindrical surface, cylindrical Gaussian surface. Okay, now according to Gauss theorem, electric flux. passing through gaussian surface is given as kaise write karte phi e is equal to q by epsilon naught okay but what is the value of q q ki value kya hai yahan okay We know surface charge density is given as charge by area. Charge by area. Area is a. So Q is equal to 
सिग्मा इंटू ए ओके सो इतनी सी मार्जिन सरफेस एरिया है यहां पे क्या वैल्यू होगी इस पर्टिकुलर जांच सिलेंडर हमने पास किया है यहां पे जो चार्ज की वैल्यू होगी क्या होगी Q इज इक्वल टू सिग्मा इंटू ए ओके ये राइट करें यहां पर सो फ्लक्स इज इक्वल टू सिग्मा इंटू ए बाय एपसाइल नोट सो फ्रॉम इक्वेशन वन एंड इक्वेशन टू वी है टू ई यहां लिख देते हैं फ्रॉम इक्वेशन वन एंड टू टू ई ए इज इक्वल टू सिग्मा ए बाय एपसाइल नोट ये से कैंसल आउट ओके सो ई विल बी इक्वल टू सिग्मा इंटू टू एपसाइल नोट सिग्मा इंटू टू एपसाइल नोट दिस इज द इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड Passing through a Gaussian surface means Gaussian surface name. How much can the electric field due to infinite plane shift at point P? This is our dimension. This is a magnitude form. Now write the vectorial form of electric field. E is equal to sigma by two epsilon naught into n cap. When n cap is the unit vector, n cap. tends to unit vector unit vector normal to the surface okay normal to the surface and away from away from it okay isse dur jata aapko dikh raha hai is tarah se ओके okay? इस आप शो कर सकते हो ये है एन कैप हमारे पास ओके तो दिस इज आवर डायरेक्शन देर आर सम बेसिक रिजल्ट विच वी लाइक नाउ दिस इज द रिजल्ट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड ड्यू टू इनफाइनाइट प्लेन शीट एट पॉइंट पी ओके अकॉर्डिंग टू रिजल्ट वी सी दैट इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड इज डज नॉट डिपेंड ऑन डिस्टेंस आर Does not depend on a R. So write करते हैं यहां पर Resultant electric field due to uniformly charged infinite plane sheet. Electric field due to infinite plane sheet at a point is independent of R. R is the distance between point and the plane sheet. Next is next is electric field if Sigma is greater than zero. Then electric field is is away from from the plane sheet. Okay. अगर पॉजिटिव चार्ज पॉजिटिव प्लेट पॉली सबसे चार्ज ऐसी है तो हमारे पास तो क्या होगा इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड अवे जाएगा इससे दूर जाएगा ओके टूवर्ड आउटवर्ड जाएगा आउटवर्ड फ्रॉम दी प्लेन आउटवर्ड लिखे यहां पे आउटवर्ड फ्रॉम दी प्लेन शी ओके इफ सिग्मा इज लेस देन जीरो मीन्स नेगेटिव देन इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड इज टूवर्ड्स Towards the plane sheet, okay. Towards the charged plane sheet. So this is all about the electric field due to uniformly charged infinite plane sheet. First of all, we derive the expression for electric field at any general point, and then we derive the expression. That then then we write the 
some basic results of a electric field due to an infinite plane sheet which having uniform surface charge density. Okay, I hope you will understand this video. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you. Have a nice day.